Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you stopping in and checking my video out. And this is going to be a real short, just a few minute video. Um, I just wanted to, in case anybody doesn't know, um, so I'm sure most of y'all do know, and or maybe you just forgot, because that's what I do all the time, I end up forgetting. Okay, but once you get a, we're going to go over some of the, uh, on PC, some of the settings I have, and it makes a pretty big difference in how ACC plays, um, even though you got DLSS, I mean, or the FreeSync, either way. Um, first of all, when you have to load a new driver for your card, every time you reload the new driver, like uh, the new a new one came out today for Navita, for GeForce and all that, so... Um, I, of course, everybody knows I got an RTX 3090. So if you, anytime you have a new driver and you load it up, it's going to wipe your settings out. At least it does mine. Um, so what I do, and I see I forgot, and I had that uh, re, you know, put the loaded the uh, dry, new drivers in, and then I went to go play ACC earlier today, and I had you know I had the race. With the uh, Silverstone, uh, not at Silverstone, but I mean at uh, uh, Monza, and I had some other stuff I was doing, and I noticed I took a big hit in my performance. I mean, my my frames were down a pretty good amount, especially in some of the places. In some of the places, like where shadows and certain things were more implemented in the game, um, it really tanked. I mean, I was losing big time performance. So I had to actually turn my DLSS from quality to performance just to get my frames decent again. Okay, um, so it makes a really big difference um, on these settings. And of course, I blew this up. Hopefully everybody can see it right. I made it a lot bigger on my screen, so hopefully everybody sees it in the video, in, the, uh, in this recording. But basically, I use the advanced 3D image settings. Of course, I have my preference at quality, but... What happens is, the first thing I do is I go here, because this will go back to auto. So what will happen is, this will be under auto select recommended. So as soon as you, like I say, load the new driver, it will come back to that. Well, I go back and select third, my you know, your my video card, okay? So that's why I do that, and then you hit apply. Every time you do this, you got to come down and hit apply, okay? And then, when I go back here, of course, i got to make sure that this is selected, and hit apply and then I got to go to my manage my settings of course it's under quality so it's going to set all these certain parameters and then I have to readjust it all from there okay so again you know you got your image scaling is off uh, all this is off off uh, eight times filtering of course FX is off uh, uh, anti-aliasing, gamma corrections on. You know, a lot of this stuff is is automatic. But some of the things I actually adjust, and I'll show you which ones they are. Uh, anti-aliasing's four times. Um, background application max frame rates off. You know, all the GPUs are all. So a lot of those are all standard if you hit quality. Okay. Now this is the stuff that I changed manually. Is low latency, low latency mode. I put it to ultra. Uh, it's off. I put it to ultra. Max frame rate is off, so it just wants to go max out. Well, I don't want it to do that because my mod, you know, my of course I have a, a C10 LG C10 uh, TV that I use for my monitor, so I it has 120 max rate, so I limit to 118, just a little bit under the max. That way, it's not you know going crazy on that. So I do that. Of course, the monitor technology is G-Sync compatible, so I do that. Um, make sure that's selected. And then, of course, right here, power management mode, that is not selected. That is that is just like auto or, or normal. I think it's normal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, normal. It's under normal. And I put prefer maximum performance, so I select that. And then under LG Electronic, my my refresh rate I put highest available I, I select that so there's things that I do here um, threaded optimization I turn that on so of course and then vertical sync since you know vertical sync is only good to like 60 frames if you're under that that's what it's good to so anything over that is useless so I turn 
uh, vertical sync, I turn that off, and that's for any game that I play. I don't want that coming on for any of them, so I turn it off. And that's that's auto, I think, too. Or it says application controlled. That's what it says. It says application controlled. So again, I just turn all these to where I want them. The few, there's a lot of these are pre-selected, and then the other ones I manually select. And then of course I hit apply down here. Okay. And then of course then I go down to where it says set up G Sync. And here it says it's usually when you every again every time it redoes the new driver it'll go back to enable for full screen mode but I want it for windowed and full screen mode so then I'll have to select that and hit apply and then of course I set up this I just do this which you probably don't have to but I just go ahead and select this again to make sure and then of course if you have uh, if you want to use uh, the Vita settings for color you can select that. Um, if you want it or if not, but if you do, you need to come back and select that also. So those are the things that you have to go back through all the way down this menu and check. Um, of course I have the 120 Hertz and it's at that, that stays the same. Um, of course, and then also just like this, if you want to use the color settings, um, you got default or this, you know, of course you'd have to hit this and again, hit apply. So again, those are the things that I change manually. Um, and again, you have to do that every single time you load a new driver. I mean, I'm not, I can't say anything about AMD. I don't really know because I don't have an AMD GPU, but I'm just saying if you have, you know, a Navita, you'd have to do that. So anyway, I just wanted to put a call out to everybody. Cause if you're hitting a big hit on your performance in ACC, um, I know, you know, if you forgot to do it or if you just didn't know about it, you'll get a big difference if you change that. So I hope it helps and uh, we'll see you the next time.